Hi guys, um, I have some very, very bad news, as the video will tell you. Um, a lot of you may know my pet spider, Pizza. My friend, my best friend actually named it. Thank you, Martina. Um, it's very sad. Today, Pizza died. Um, and it's a very, very, um, sad day. But this is one of the things you need to know when you get into the hobby of spiders and reptiles is that you have to deal with loss and that a lot of times it's not your fault. And now um, I'll show you the, his enclosure. I don't really want to show you his body because it, it's a bit gross and I don't want to disrespect pizza. But yeah, I'll show you his enclosure. Maybe I'll show you his body but I don't know anyway so uh yeah I'll show you the case so as you can see this is pizza's enclosure and there's nothing wrong here he has, he has plenty of hiding spaces two inches or one um no no two, two inches of dirt uh sticks so pizza can climb on them um and yeah so, as you can see, the enclosure is not the problem, but what might have led to Pizza's death, I was wondering, was either um, a heat stroke, because it's been really hot today in London, and like the couple of uh, these couple of weeks, it's been really warm and heat's been going everywhere, and as you can imagine, think of how hot it is outside think of how hot it is inside this little room and inside this little plastic cage so that might have um, killed pizza now the other thing that could have killed pizza are are the mealworms right here I'm not gonna open them because the because they might have a parasite which is how pizza might have died because um, basically um, my mum bought me the small mealworm package at Pets at Home and I've heard some stories of like they aren't really good things to feed especially if they're from Pets at Home because you can risk it that there might be diseases because of how they are packaged and maybe they were right because when my mum bought the box they were in this like little plastic box and um, they stayed there for quite a while and the box stank of death. It was horrible. It was disgusting. So I decided to move them into this Tupperware container. And then it stank even more because maybe some some of the dead fruit got in there. And I just... I got the pieces of fruit and I put them in a the bin. But I don't know. It still stank. Maybe because a bit of like... There was this sand, this grainy substance that got into the Tupperware box. So maybe that was it. But I don't know. So probably a parasite was the uh, was what killed pizza. So as I said, I don't really want to show you guys the pizza's dead body because number one, it's really disgusting. There's lots of like guts, and it looks like a balloon popped kind of. I'll leave it at that. And I don't really want to disrespect pizza uh, because I think it's rude really showing someone's dead body uh thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys for watching all my videos actually you guys have been great supporting me all the time but anyways um i know today it was a very sad video um it it was very quick as well uh quicker than my usual videos um and i'm just really sad what happened to pizza i don't know when pizza died, maybe it was today, maybe it was yesterday, maybe two days ago. Um, it could have been, I don't know, it could have been a parasite that killed pizza, it could have been a heat stroke. Um, I looked through online what could cause um, pizza's death, but like I only found out that it could have been a heat stroke and it wasn't dehydration because spiders can live for like two or four weeks without water. And then it can't be a food because pe uh, spiders can live for like two or four years without food as well. 
but yeah um but all i know is it could have been it mostly maybe i think it truly was a parasite because pizza didn't eat the mealworms for a long time after they became really big and um i don't know it, pizza just didn't want to eat and i was really really scared i didn't know what would have happened to him and uh yeah he died it's just really sad you gotta let things go um you gotta adjust it's a thing that happens you usually all the time when you have uh, pet spiders and lizards and dogs and cats and it just happens a lot of the time so you just gotta get used to it but yeah thanks for watching and i uh, hope you guys have a nice day